Hey everyone, I'm just about to run out the door and go to work, hence why I'm not wearing too much makeup, but I thought I'd do a quick February favourites for you. And I'm going to get started with some skincare, and this is quite an obvious one, and it's just the Live Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. And I've spoken about this time and time before, and the reason I put this in my favourites is because about three weeks ago I ran out of this and I was a bit too poor to afford another one, so I started to use up a number 7 radiance boosting one that I had, which is a very similar kind of hot cloth cleanser sort of concept. Um, and it just did nothing for my skin. My skin felt really kind of like a greasy film was left on it, and it just wasn't half as refreshing and cleansing as the Lizelle one. So I'm going to do a sort of little blog post sort of comparing the two of them for you. But for me, the Lizelle wins hands down, and I was really happy this week to go back into John Lewis, and proudly purchased, I think, what is my third or fourth bottle of this. And it just feels amazing on my skin, really deep cleanse, really kind of refreshed and toned. Absolutely love that. And then I've got a foundation. You all know I love my Girl Anne Lingerie de Poe. Um, I also am really into MAC Face and Body, which is what I'm wearing at the moment. But another one that I've liked this month is the Beachy Derma Blend. And I know Lisa Elridge keeps on going on about this and with good reason. It is fantastic for covering. It's got really, really good coverage in it and it's really good for sort of um, correcting sort of pinkiness in the skin, which is what I kind of struggle with. And the reason I've been reaching for this is because a lot of the time this month I've been in an absolute rush to get ready. And this goes on really, really well with just fingers. It's just the quickest foundation to put on and it gives me the most coverage out of all of my foundations that I own. So if I'm kind of in a really, really quick rush, I will just put this on with my fingers and it gives me the most flawless face ridiculously quickly. Um, I've got the shade 25 Nude, which is probably a bit too dark for me. I'm generally a MAC sort of NW20, and this is probably more sort of for an NW25 or above. Um, so I'm going to try the shade below, which I think is 15, called Opal. So I'll let you know how that goes. And then to set everything, I normally go for my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, as you guys know. But recently I've been loving the Prep and Prime by MAC. And this is just, it looks like a kind of white talcum powder. And it just leaves my skin feeling like silk. It just really sets your makeup without looking powdered or overdone. It's completely invisible, so it just sinks into the skin. And just the feeling of your skin afterwards is just so silky and so smooth, unlike anything else. And I've kind of had it for a while and just sort of forgotten about it. So one of those things that's been in the drawer where I've completely rediscovered it. Going to have to do a blog post on it because I absolutely love it. And then I've got two things for the face. And they're both really cheap kind of drugstore products. And the first one is an e.l.f. blusher. And this is Peachy Keen. And it's just a kind of peachy bronze colour with a sort of golden shimmer to it. And for me this is kind of almost like NARS Madly. It's got that kind of just healthy kind of glowy tone to it. It's not going to add a lot of colour onto your cheek, but it will just kind of give a bit of extra sort of radiance. And you can pick this up from the e.l.f. website for, I think, about £3.50. And then another thing is the Sleek Face Contour Kit. Now, I completely wrote this off when I originally got it. I said that it was too dark for my skin, and this is the light um, colour. And I completely just didn't really think that much of it. I still think the highlighter is a bit too frosty and a bit too silvery for my liking. Um, but the actual contour powder, which is this bit here, it actually works really well on my skin. The key is just a little tiny bit. It goes a long way. You don't need to kind of rub this all on, onto your face like really, really hard or anything. Just be really light-handed with it, and it will just sculpt your cheekbones perfectly. And all I've been doing is when I go on nights out or even just during the day, it's just kind of using a bit of this um, colour to contour my cheeks and just going blush-free, apart from if I'm using the Elf Feature Keen. Um, but yeah, I just really like the kind of effect it gives, that kind of sculpted look without looking too overdone. Now I've got a pair of false lashes in this one. I'm a massive fan of false lashes when I go out. I will rarely go out without wearing false lashes. I just love the kind of cat eye effect you get. And these are just the Ardell Demi Pixies. Now they're just going to look like little spiders in there. I originally completely wrote these off. I didn't think they looked all that good at all. I was like, well, they look a bit sparse, they look a bit spiky. But they just add a really nice kind of volume to your lashes and a curl to them. So they're kind of a bit discreet. They're not going to look too overdone. You're not going to look, wow, Jordan kind of esque lashes. They're quite natural, um, but really, really nice. And just kind of add that almost sort of Kardashian curl to your lashes. Nothing too crazy. 
And I've got a nail polish here, and it's Effie Merino Cool. I've spoken about it time and time again. I've got it on my nails now. Looks really nice in my ring, which is from Topshop. And it's just the nicest kind of grey, pale grey, mauvey lavender colour. On my nails, it does look very similar to Model's own purple grey. I get, I kind of get that sort of tone from it. I just got a mini one from one of the um, sort of travel set things they do. But I really, really like that. Um, then I've got a hair care item, and I've already done a blog post on this, so I'll link that below. And it's just the John Frieda three days straight, and I've got it in my hair now. This is day two. And it's kind of gone a bit slightly curled at the end, but it has still got that kind of straightness to it. And the main reason I like this is how it makes my hair feel. It just makes my hair feel so smooth and so soft. It's packed to the brim with sort of keratin, and it just kind of seals in, seals the keratin into your hair with the straightness. So it just makes your hair so silky and smooth. And I think it's only about six ninety nine from Boots. I have used quite a bit. I've used up to there. And I've only used it twice, but then I guess my hair is really long, so that's why I've used so much. And then another thing, a blog post is going to have to be done on this, and it is the Davina Peace Body Oil. And not only is the packaging just completely to die for, it comes out like that, I've used absolutely loads of it. It's the first body oil I've ever tried. I've never used a body oil before. I thought it would make my skin really greasy not at all, this just sinks into your skin and you know when you see something it's just got that kind of glow to their skin this it, this gives it to you, it's just amazing it leaves my skin so soft, so smooth not greasy at all, not oily at all it sinks in really really well and smells completely divine so I'm going to have to do a blog post on this because I absolutely love it so that was my February favourite, it's been quite quick I haven't particularly been into makeup at the moment I'm really into actually getting rid of a lot of my stuff. I'm doing a lot of blog sales, so if you haven't been seeing that, um, check out my blog, because there's going to be a few blog sales coming up. So I'm kind of um, downsizing before I do a Project 10 Pan, which my next video will probably be all about. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.